reunited itself. We'll see. Not much better than the road. If nothing else, someone has to step up. We'll see. Venon. I'd like to hear more about what you saw in your exploration of the Fade. I would be happy to share it with you. Tell me about a spirit you encountered. I found an ancient spirit who had once been undisputed king of almost every land I had discovered. Like pride or rage, it was the Fade's reflection of a feeling. When I asked which one it was, the spirit faltered. They've forgotten, said the spirit. There remains no word for what I was. Tell me about the old memories you found in the Fade. I saw a young Canari working in a simple kitchen, baking bread as she was ordered every morning. In every loaf, she broke the rules. She'd take a pinch of sugar and would fold it into the center, like a secret. And this act of small rebellion brought a shining smile across her face. Tell me about the old ruins you explored. I found in the Kokari wilds a humble cottage far removed from any of the simple chastened tribesmen. The trees and weeds had not reclaimed the home, nor did the chastened dare to come and steal the trinkets still remaining. It was empty, long abandoned, but the world feared that you might return. We'll talk later. Dareth Shirar. Inquisitor, I've found where the Red Templars come from, Therenfall Redoubt. The knights were fed Red Lyrium until they turned into monsters. Samson took over after their corruption was complete. How do you know Samson? He was a Templar in Kirkwall, until he was expelled from the Order. I knew he was an addict, but this... Red Lyrium is nothing like the Lyrium given by the Chantry. Its power comes with a terrible madness. Samson's armor was glowing with the stuff. He'll go mad soon enough. He seemed clear-eyed at Haven. Even so, a deluded commander is no less worrisome. The Red Templars still require Lyrium. If we find their source, we can weaken them and their leader. Where do we begin? Caravans of Red Lyrium are being smuggled along trade roads. Investigating them could lead to where it's being mined. If you confront them, be wary. Anything connected to Samson will be well guarded. As leader of the Inquisition, you... There's something I must tell you. You're being especially serious today. I know. Lyrium grants Templars our abilities, but it controls us as well. 
Those cut off suffer. Some go mad, others die. We have secured a reliable source of lyrium for the Templars here. But I no longer take it. You stopped? When I joined the Inquisition. It's been months now. Months? You didn't think to tell me this sooner. I should have. After what happened in Kirkwall, I couldn't. I will not be bound to the Order or that life any longer. Whatever the suffering, I accept it. But I would not put the Inquisition at risk. I have asked Cassandra to... watch me. If my ability to lead is compromised, I will be relieved from duty. Are you in pain? I can endure it. Thank you for telling me. I respect what you're doing. Thank you, Inquisitor. The Inquisition's army must always take priority. Should anything happen, I will defer to Cassandra's judgment. Did you need something? You and the Red Templar's leader seem to have personal history. When I arrived in Kirkwall, Samson and I shared quarters. He seemed a decent man at first. Knight Commander Meredith later expelled Samson for erratic behavior. He ended up begging on Kirkwall streets. He committed further crimes, but managed to evade the Order's justice. Now Samson serves Corypheus as his loyal general. Why do you think Samson joined Corypheus? He had a chronic lyrium addiction. He spent every last coin buying it from local smugglers. Perhaps Corypheus flattered his vanity, gave him purpose as well as lyrium. Perhaps that's all it took. You can't deny being a general is an improvement to living on the streets. I'd rather die than kneel to Corypheus. Clearly Samson felt otherwise. I don't understand how he became so powerful. Even with Red Lyrium, Samson's glory days are long behind him. Was there something you needed? Is there anything I should know? I'd gotten used to mages disliking me on principle. Vivienne's views on Templars are surprisingly traditional. That's all for now. Another time, then. <laughs>